What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with WWE Action Figure Surgery, man. Been a minute. We've been on a big break from surgery, but I think we're back with a really good episode here. I think we got some cool fix-ups going on. We got some new figures featured here, and I'm excited to get into it with you. Sort of the adventure down a long road path ahead for these John Cena figures we're going to be featuring here today should be really interesting, but I think this is episode 85 of surgery, if I'm not mistaken. I meant to... I've been wanting to do another episode of surgery, but I've just been running into walls and stuff like that. And I have a lot of fix-ups in my brain, but I gotta get the figures to do so. So we're kind of playing the waiting game on getting figures in. And then we're also, I mean, I guess I got 400 extra, or 800 extra bucks in my pocket now after the Nitro stage went through the freaking ringer. I legitimately ordered two of them, man. I'm so disappointed in that. Anyway, getting into it today, man, let's start off. If you guys are unaware, action figure surgery, we're going to fix up all these WWE action figures today, man. So with that being said, let's get into it. We have John Cena Ultimate Edition on the stretcher here. I own like 13 of these. So today we're going to be making a very special version today, and we will get into that, of course. But what we're going to do is basically take this Ultimate John Cena and turn him into a New Year's Revolution 2006 John Cena. And that is going to require us, first of all, we're going to need to to remove the white armbands here and then we're going to put another chain gang armband on this side take the bicep band completely off we don't need it whatsoever then we're going to take the shoes off and we're going to put this Jax deluxe aggression series one john cena figure you guys can see him I and this is basically the exact same figure man hadn't worn brass knucks in so long at the time of this figure's release and they gave him brass knucks isn't that hilarious bro that's so funny anyway we're going to put these shoes on here and i got this idea from my boy crowned jesus on instagram my boy jesus over there and then degenerate figs both of those guys tried this and it looked really good and i said you know what brad i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this with you so we're gonna be putting these are actually the exact shoes and everything that he wore at the event of new year's revolution 2006 that's actually the night that edge cashed in on john cena and it made me cry in my parents bedroom floor i'm sitting there watching this thing and i'm like oh my god he retained and then the first ever cash in and it made me sick and then this past weekend at backlash they went back to puerto rico so it's kind of a full circle moment here nonetheless we're gonna do that we're gonna fix this guy up and it should be really easy and uh if you're wondering why this scene is here it's literally just for his armbands right here so this is an elite 100 john cena we're gonna take his right chain gang armbands off and put them on to the ultimate edition over here so we will have an ultimate edition john cena from new year's revolution 2006 and this is just the long road ahead of all the john cenas we gotta make so i don't know if i'll keep it as a new year's revolution john cena but we'll probably put a custom shirt on there or something like that nonetheless let's get into our next fix up so next up we're going to be taking cody here and we're just going to be head swapping him we're head swapping him and we're putting on an extra belt an extra weight belt that i got so this should be good i'm really i'm first of all i'm really waiting on the top talents elite to see what gear we get for out of that and then i'm also waiting on the defining moments cody and i want to get an extra one of those so that we can uh pop the bruised torso off and then put an empty torso on there or a plain torso on there so then we'll have that figure with the bruise and without the bruise and so i have mixed feelings about that because what if what if that's what the top talents is it's just the defining moments without the bruise i guess we'll see about that but next up we do have rhea ripley this one i'm pretty excited about okay if you guys are unaware they make rhea ripley's figure really really small so like raquel gonzalez or raquel rodriguez back here this isn't uh i guess it's not like terrible gap but rhea ripley's more like right here and so you guys can tell that she's pretty short here i'm going to attempt to i'm gonna put the legs from this rhea on this uh on this raquel and then i'm gonna put the head sculpt in the on in the neck band or the dog collar or the neck collar on here and we're just gonna see what it looks like i may not keep it on there i just want to play around with the formula because i'm trying to make Rhea bigger than she is i feel like this doesn't really represent her and then if that looks good if all those pieces look good on the raquel figure i'm gonna order decals because i want a Rhea that's not only bigger but i want to have all of her tattoos on here and i was never a big fan of this gear i thought this gear was really like kind of trash so we'll see we'll see what comes of that but we're gonna fix up Rhea today see what that looks like and it may look like garbage but I want to play around with it anyways. Then we're also going to be turning this guy into an updated Rollins with a with an Ultimate Edition head sculpt. We're going to be putting this head sculpt over here, so that should look pretty fire. We're also going to be doing like a triple way head swap here with the edges. So we got the Elite 102 edge. I'm going to put the Elite 94 head sculpt on him, and then I'm going to put this head sculpt either the on the Elite 83 or the Ringside Exclusive, and then we're going to take the Elite 83 head sculpt and put it on the uh, on the Ringside Exclusive. So we're going to do like a three-way trade here between these three guys, so that should be 
pretty sweet fix up there. And then finally, we're going to be reverting my updated Gunther slash Walter back into the ringset exclusive Walter. So I have the uh, torso and the and the tights here. Basically going to be transporting. Now since we have this updated one, I don't need this one anymore. We're going to be putting him back into this body. So, you know, we're kind of doing like a Captain Ginyu type deal here. So let's shut the hell up and get into it, man. Dr. Whitekiss is ready for surgery. So with all those things being said, let's dive into it, man, and get started. All right, guys. So getting into the first business, I really don't know what the best deal would be. Like, what should we do the hardest first or the easiest first? I, I, I don't even know. Let's start off with the John Cena, man. Let's go ahead and just get into the John Cena because I'm very interested to see how all of this is going to play out because I don't know exactly. Like, first of all, there's a few things to just kind of talk about here with this. So if you guys were unaware, uh, the skin tones on here don't match completely, but they're, they're good enough. I don't think it's really going to be an issue. And uh, basically... You just pop these feet off, and then you slide these feet up in there. Like they're they're both they both have a little peg on there, and you just pop them on there. So and plus these do not fall forward like these terrible shoe molds here. So we got some good stuff cooking here. So first thing we got to do is we do have to pull off the chain gang armbands here, and we need to put it on this right wrist here. And so I'm just gonna put this on there, and like all this doesn't really matter. And I actually have an idea that I'm gonna try and exercise at a later date. Actually, you know. What? I'm just gonna keep this off because I want to come over here because I got to get this chain gang ba uh, bicep band off so I'm gonna pull this off and then we're gonna slide this onto this other arm even though that's not accurate at all and actually makes me sick just looking at this but it's not accurate but uh, we'll get the job done there you go there it is it looks dumb but I know somebody out there's gonna be like, oh that looks fire no it doesn't so elite 100 John Cena is done now put these on here and then oh dude this is gonna look sweet now we're gonna pop this on here pop these hands on and then all we have to do is pop the or heat up the feet so that should be pretty easy so there's that pretty cool and then i guess we don't need the dog tags for now just take that off and now we're gonna heat up these feet i guess we could we could go ahead and heat up others Dude, look at that jack's head skull right there bro you're gonna tell me jack's wasn't feeling it low-key this one might look better uh anyway while we're heating this up i guess we can try and see if we have anything else we can go ahead and do uh that doesn't require heat that doesn't require heat some of this stuff doesn't require heat thank christ you know what i mean however these might uh i know the edge head sculpt needs some heat right here so i may just do that and i think this elite 94 head sculpt yeah we're i think this is it or wait this one may not be good hold up yep we gotta heat up the seth rollins so we're gonna heat up all of these and then we'll swap the seth rollins we'll swap the edges we'll swap the feet and then we'll move move on to the other projects that we have today on surgery so should be fun man also this is a PSA if anybody's watching this and you have any deluxe aggression John Cena figures and you'd like to do a trade or or you're getting rid of them for cheap or you'd trade me the shoes off of them I need to make some deals man so if you have the series one here you have like any of them it doesn't matter what series it is I need deluxe aggression John Cena Jax figures so that's that's my PSA but Let's shut the hell up. White trusty hairdryer makes the return, and let's uh, let's get into it. All right, Bradley, let's see what we got here. First of all, the edge head sculpt. Not even close to, to hot enough. What the hell is even that? What the hell is even that? Seth Rollins? God in heaven, that, like, I almost cracked the damn torso. Okay, we got that on there. Let's go ahead and pop the Ultimate Edition head sculpt on here. Interchangeable head sculpts, man. What a time to be alive. We'll look at him at the end. The, that damn edge. Uh, all right, let's see. Ultimate Edition John Cena boots right here. Really simple. Should be just... I mean, we may not even even needed heat, but I'm going to hang on to these shoes. You can probably get some usage out of these in the future, so I'm definitely going to be hanging on to those. I'm a dumb jackass. I got Gunther slash Walter just sitting over there doing nothing. Could have probably heated his stuff up too, but good lord. Dude, what in the, what in the hell is this? All right, so I got the right foot out. Jesus in heaven, man. Ha! Ah! Is that good enough now? Damn. Edgehead sculpt. Dude, what in the freak is... I got it. How about that? You're not laughing now, are you, Brad? All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can pop this shoe off. 
Okay, we got that shoe off, and now let's see if we can put these shoes into... I heated up the holes here, so, you know, you gotta always heat up the holes before you put stuff in there. Yeah, I know what I said. Okay, that has a gap in it. Why does that have such a gap in it? That's not accurate. Okay, so you just gotta shove it up in there good. I mean, I'm sure as I continue to do this fix-up, I'm sure I'll get better and better at it as I go. But that looks so much damn better. Dude, that is so nice. Dude, I freaking love that. Oh my god. I have to show it to you at the end, but that's really damn awesome. Wow. Makes me excited. All right. Getting into Edge here, uh, we also have to heat up Gunther. I almost forgot to do him again, but I think, what do you guys think looks the best? I think the Elite 94 Edge head sculpt right here, I think this is going to look better. I want this on the Judgment Day one, because I think, you know, it kind of fits that, like, era right there. Like, he's pissed off, it's Judgment Day, you know, all that. We'll look at him at the end. I think that one kind of writes itself, but as far as the rest, you think the Elite 83 head sculpt is going to look the best? I don't I don't know. Do you think the Elite 83 is going to look best on the rated R over here, or do you think it'll look best on the where's the other one Do we not have another edge i guess this has to go here yeah this is right so this one's gonna go on to probably should have made this interchangeable oh my god i just heard a neck peg crack yeah that's what happens when you don't uh all right i got it on there this is what happens when you take a break bro don't don't take long breaks from stuff man don't take long breaks and then we have the elite 83 here we're just gonna plop this on here i actually think this is gonna look pretty damn good put that on there we'll check that out in a minute i know i hate the torso and we're we're gonna fix all these edge torsos one day at least the updated ones. Got that on there. Now, I'm loving that John Cena, dude. Oh, my God. But now, we got to fix up our ring general. And, hmm, it's the Rhea. All right. I guess what we're going to have to do, first of all, this Walter body needs to go over here. What sucks is you're going to have to, I'm going to have to heat the head up and the legs. This is just a freaking piece of shish. All right, so here's this. This also has white wrist tape on it. How stupid. That's why I kept the jacket on there. All right, we don't need the Elite 102 Gunther. I'm in some processes of fixing the Elite 102 Sami Zayn as well. So that's why he's not featured here today. Because I'm actually, I got some other plans for him. You guys will see that at a later date. But there's that. I guess we can, let's go ahead and we'll make the Walter the last thing here. So we're, we can do everything that's non-heat. So for Cody Rhodes, we're just going to pop this head off. I'm going to put this screaming head sculpt on here. Damn it, I forgot the acetone. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to acetone this head sculpt is what I wanted to do. I guess we could do that at a later date, but we are going to go ahead and put this weight belt on here. I think this is going to look good. I actually got a really great deal on Amazon. They were selling the Elite 101 Cody for 15 bucks, so I bought three of them. So, yeah, we got we got parts now, Brad. So there is that. We got the weight belt and the screaming head sculpt. We'll see that in just a moment. We'll see what that looks like. And then... Cody head sculpt can go over here. This Gunther right there. All right, so I'm going to pop this head sculpt off. Get this off. I'm going to go ahead and remove her little waist deal here on this Rhea figure because you don't heat up rubber accessories. Very dangerous to do so. So we're just going to slide this off. Slide that down and then... All right, so there's Rhea. And then for the Raquel, we're just going to pop the head sculpt off and i don't really mind sacrificing this raquel if it ends up working i could easily get the, my walmart has like four of these so i'll just go buy another one i guess to to fill in the gaps there but you guys can see this works as a really good rea base i feel like i'd replace the orange with purple probably and then i know this this right here is gonna look weird because it's gonna it, i'm afraid it's gonna make her look like she's wearing a diaper but uh the, we're just gonna risk it anyway but this can go in here i think i i think i played around with this the other day and it kind Kind of made her look like she had kind of a giraffe neck. I don't know. You guys can let me know. Does that look bad? I don't think that looks that bad. I guess let's just wait to the end and we'll check it out up next to other figures and you guys can tell me. But at first glance, I don't think that looks that bad. But I do want all of her tattoos on there, so I'm going to swap the legs as well. But you could probably get away with this as a, as a Rhea as well. But we're going to heat up this and all three of these crotches, all, all three at the same time. So we're going to do that right there. And hopefully all of them get heated up and get sufficient heat. All right. That looks weird, but got to do it. All right, Brad, that should be good enough. Hopefully, this doesn't burn my face off, but oh my god, dude, did I melt that leg? Good lord. Just looks so odd peeling off of there, but there is that. Now we have our real legs. 
Hopefully this doesn't look stupid, and it may. Yeah, dude, I can already tell it's gonna look dumb. It's like she's gonna have a damn diaper. Maybe not, we'll see. But there's the rear legs. I don't know, I'll let you guys look at it as well. It may look stupid, but there's the rear body. I am gonna use rear hands for it, and then I was gonna take the Elite 84 rear, like, wrist gauntlets and put that on there, but maybe this, did this head sculpt get heated up? Damn it. Nonetheless, plop this on here. Walter legs, and now we're gonna have our Walter back. So now, the Walter ringside exclusive will be uh, coming back. So now we can have our Gunther and our Walter. All right, man, I guess the next thing you're gonna see is everything lined up together, and we'll showcase everything. You guys can give me your opinions, and Gunther and Walter and all the, yeah, yeah, let's just shut the hell up and show you everything we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, man, so getting into everything we did today, I think it was a damn good day, Brad. I think we had a damn good day, and I want all your guys' opinions down in the comment section below. Let me know what works, what doesn't work, because I want to know. So, first up, we do have the Elite 102 Edge here. I think this worked out great, you know, it kind of fit. I, I see Edge in the Judgment Day is like the longer hair better than the short hair. I know that, uh, you know, you can say what you will but i think the long hair actually looks better I, th I like this better personally rather than the short hair but we do have the elite 83 head on the rated r head sculpt on the rated r body i think it looks pretty good there the ringside exclusive then you have the elite 83 with the short hair i think all three of these work you know just your just your regular head swaps here it was head swap mania today today on action figure surgery next up we do have the elite 101 cody here i really like this belt on this body i think it really looks good and then you have this uh this screaming head sculpt now i did mean to acetone off the tattoo but i guess if you leave it in the neutral position it doesn't really affect you but belt's a little bit loose but this belt's way better than the mattel one it's just the way it is but i like the american flag you got the american nightmare cody on there and all the logos match so this is a really nice sweet fix up i think this looks damn good so I'm all for that, and since I had so many of the Elite 101 figure, get some usage out of those Ultimate Head Sculpts, swap them around, put them on some different figures, and you have some fix-up Cody Rhodes. This one's probably the one that I low-key am the most excited about, man. I think it turned out great. Now, one thing you're going to notice, I you can't really tell on camera, I don't think, and the, the skin tones don't match completely, but with the fishnets over the legs, with this belt thing in the middle... And with the, the the dog collar and the head sculpt with the dark makeup, I think it kind of hides anything that you're going to run into as far as it looking too. Like, maybe the torso is not as long. Like, it maybe not fit. Maybe the legs don't fit with the torso because of, like, height accuracies and stuff like that. But with this little piece on here that she wears, I think you can get away with it, man. I'm not really, like, I'm actually really excited with the way this came out because it's coming up. It's coming out about how I expected it to. And I think it looks pretty damn good i want to know your thoughts down in the comment section below but i think the dog collar or the neck collar necklace you have this little apparatus that goes around that usually like lifts her cheekage up obviously this doesn't have her cheeks showing and you could put like a little bit of skin tone paint right there kind of like the AEW figures do you know but i gotta get some tattoo decals to show off all her tattoos and then i'm gonna get the elite 84 rhea ripley gauntlets and this is gonna be a lot damn better than this right here i think this for like look how like small this figure looks for rhea ripley this is a way better and more accurate and proportionate Rhea Ripley than they've given us. So this actually makes me real happy. I think this looks damn good. I'm excited. This may be my favorite one of the day. If you didn't include this John Cena over here, which looks money, dude. Look at that. Look at the shoes right here on this John Cena, man. That looks so good. And I never have to worry about this man falling forward. These are not going to fall forward. They're very tight. He's got enough room there. Like, dude, this is amazing. Look at this right here. Oh my God in heaven. Huge shout out to Jesus and Degenerate Figs for the idea there. I saw them do a a couple Cena's, and I said, you know what, bro, I gotta do this, so that looks beautiful, I can't wait for more John Cena fix-ups, and this makes my project, this makes me forge full fledge ahead on my projects that I want to get done for, for the Cena's. The Cena collection hasn't been touched in, like, customs in a while, just because I wanted every look, and now I was like, you know what, it's time to take that a step further, so now that we're getting more intricate and detailed in there, this is going to be awesome. So the John Cena looks amazing. We have Walter returning. He looks really good now. So now we have our Walter fully, you know, fixed back up in his original way. We have a Seth Rollins here with the Ultimate Edition head sculpt on there, which I think looks damn good. I think this head sculpt here fits perfectly on this body. And, you know, I think it adds perfectly, you know? I mean, I, I guess the gauntlets could be, like, longer. Like, the wrist tape was a little longer. It'd be better. But this still looks really clean. So I'm excited for it. I think it looks good. And then you have this weird Cena that somebody out there is going to be like, oh, it looks damn good 
man. No, it doesn't. I mean, it's not. I, I can see somebody doing this and they're like pig fed or something. Yeah, I guess it's not like atrocious, but it's uh, it's making me cringe a little bit. But I mean, if you remove this or put this over here, it wouldn't be that bad. But uh, having the dual bicep bands and stuff like that looks weird. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up WWE Action Figure Surgery, man. Very successful day. Very happy with everything and the way it turned out. I want to know down in the comment section below what you guys found was your favorite. I want to know down in the comment section below. If I had to pick one, it'd be the Cena or the Rhea. I'm just really excited with the way those two turned out. Plenty of stuff for the future. Now I gotta finish the Rhea Ripley and I gotta finish the, the other Cenas. But thank you guys for watching. Huge shout out to our patrons over there on the Patreon. If you guys are interested in becoming patrons of the MDT YouTube channel, click the links in the description below so you guys can get in on all the perks and things like that. Monthly figure giveaways and all that stuff. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you in the next one. We'll never back down. We won't